Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L Tutoring. I have been tutoring students for about 17 years how to pass the board exam and dental assisting students. There's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. The best thing you can do is really formulate a plan and study every day with taking breaks. But there are certain things that I want you guys to study first and then certain things that I want you guys to leave until the end. So let me explain that a little bit. When you're first starting to study, do not take mock exams, um, multiple choice questions, none of that, because you're not going to know the answers because you haven't studied yet. Even if you're thinking, I've been in school for, for the past two years, four years, depending on your program, I know a little bit, you'd be surprised, okay? So don't take mock exams until later on towards the end so you don't get disappointed in yourself because that's the thing about studying. If you're not focused or if you feel like you're not retaining information, you are tired, you're exhausted, you're upset, and you stop studying. Or you continue to study, but it's not focused studying. So you might be studying for five hours, but you're not retaining any information. That's the worst thing to do. The best thing to do, A, one, is to formulate a plan. So aim to study at least two hours every day with a maximum of six hours. Two hours is if you have a full-time job. If you're in school all day long, I don't expect you to go home and study for six hours, but I do expect you to study for two hours. It could be an hour in the morning on the bus as you're going to school and then an hour at night as you're winding down for bed. Studying will put you to sleep, trust me. So kind of formulate a plan that way. If you have kids, if again, you work full-time, it's going to be nearly impossible to study for six hours every day. But those that are able to study for two hours a day, you're going to be studying for longer and it's going to take you longer to retain the information. If you're able to really focus, let's say you don't have a full-time job, you do have more time to study and you can manage six hours a day, you can take more breaks. You can take more days off. So I might suggest studying six times a day, but then take off Saturday and Sunday because your brain needs a break, but don't study a straight six hours, do it in shifts. So let's say two hours in the morning, two hours sometimes in the afternoon and two hours in the evening, you do need that break. And what to study really depends on you. I find some students like to study, say, oral pathology, like for the one day, and then the next day they're going to move on to special needs. But in my, sorry guys, I thought I heard something, that was weird. Anyways, in my, <laughs> nobody's home, so it kind of creeped me out a little bit. Anyways, um, what I suggest doing though is to really break it up. So two hours, study special needs. Two hours in the afternoon, study oral pathology. Two hours, study pharmacology. That will help, you know, mix things up so your brain isn't bored. So you're not, not bored and you're not tired. That's what I suggest doing. If you need help on what to study, definitely sign up for my board exam prep academy where there's modules. I tell you what to study every day, how long to study certain topics. I do all of that with you. So I'm going to leave the link for you guys down below for the board exam prep academy. It's full training online. You get PowerPoints, you get videos, you talk with me live at least once a month, sometimes twice a month. We go through mock exam questions, answers, rationales, case studies, critical thinking. It's a full online program to help you guys pass the board exam and also includes interactive quizzes, but also a private Facebook group for students only. So you have full access to all of our session recordings as well for the past two years. So let's say tonight you are focusing on oral pathology. And then you're saying, Andrea, I kind of want to listen to you teach a video on oral pathology. I am bored reading. Well, guess what? Inside the Board Exam Prep Academy, you can go in there online, look up oral pathology teaching video right there. I have several. So it kind of helps to break up your studying a bit too. I make things easier for you. I teach you how to study, what to study, and when to study. And I break things up so you're not just reading your textbook, reading your notes from school. It's so much more than that. So that's what I want you guys to do. Study two to six hours every day. If you're able to study six hours, take a break, take a day off. If it's only two hours every day, I do not suggest taking a day off ever. 
Just kidding. You can take a day off, but don't do it after the first day. Maybe do it after two weeks of studying two hours every day. You will start to kind of get an inkling of how much you're able to um, retain, okay? Um, and then you can take a day off if you feel you had a good day studying. But something else that I'd like to mention too, which might surprise you, listen to your body. If you're really tired that day, you've been studying for two hours and you're just not getting the information, take the day off. It's not your day to study. It's truly not. But let's say on the opposite side of things, you're having a great day. You just studied for six hours. You feel good. You are learning a lot. Study another hour. Study another two hours. Take advantage and really listen to your body. Towards the end, let's say you have two months left um, until the board exam. That is when you want to take mock exam practice tests, because then if you think you know all about special needs, you take a mock exam practice test and you didn't do well, that's telling you you need to study more of special needs to get the idea. Inside the board exam prep academy, I have quizzes as well tons of mock exams per topic. So you don't have to make them yourself. You don't have to pay for more. They're all inside the course. Okay, you guys. So some fun tips to study for you. Please let me know if any questions. I am so happy to help. Thank you guys for watching. Please click like if you like this video. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button. That does help me and my channel. I really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. And I look forward to seeing, seeing you guys inside the Board Exam Prep Academy where you get to meet me unofficially. I talk to you just like this, one-on-one -on -one, as a group. We will have fun studying, believe it or not. Thank you guys. Bye for now.